to Saturday. I have over there, I took all the magazines that were stacked on my laptop and put them in that basket to be thrown away. And then um, later on tonight, I think I want to plug in my laptop. Turn that baby on. Honestly, I haven't had it on in weeks. Weeks. I just cracked open some popcorn. Dad got me one of those big dollar bags of popcorn from the farm store. I'm having a few handfuls of that. Um, he got me that when he got his water stock for salt yesterday. He just left. It's 5.30. He just walked out the door to go. Earlier today, I... We'll see. Okay. Let's back up a little. Walk, walk, walk. He went to Carol's last night, him and Heidi, and they, they stayed the night. He came home today. He called, I don't know, probably about 11, 30, something like that, saying, hey, don't eat lunch, I'm bringing you something. Okay. But an hour later, later he got here, and he brought me home some rib, it was Soul Food Saturday at the rib tip place, and so I got rib tips, collard greens, and macaroni and cheese, and a little cornbread muffin. Uh, I still have about half my rib tips left for later. So I had that for my lunch, which was very good, a nice surprise. And then after I got done the, the, doing that, I peeled like five long cucumbers, the burpless ones, you know, the real long. And a couple onions, and I made some creamy cucumbers. And he just took a bowl of that over to Carol's house because it made a huge bowl. And uh, I think he's going to give some to the neighbor guy, too. Because I said, do you want me to make creamy cucumbers or the vinegar ones? He goes, I want the creamy ones this time. We haven't had those in a while. So that is what I did. And now I'm just chilling. I was going to try to find a movie to watch, like on Hulu or something. But I don't know. I just don't know. Um, got some laundry going. So this is kind of a boring Saturday around here. I want to thank everybody yesterday who said I looked pretty and I looked got nice in that pink shirt and my hair looked nice. I did nothing to my hair but brush it out like normal, but for some reason it laid nice. I don't know. And I do like that pink top. It's actually in the washer right now. <laughs> um, I have another one just like that, only it's like this, like a seafoam green. But yeah, it's very comfortable. I like it. Uh, my brain just shut down there for a minute. But thank you, everybody, for all the compliments yesterday. It was, it made me smile. It really did. Um. Apparently, I was talking to my cousin today, because my aunt called here last night about 10 or 10.30 and left a message on our machine, but you know I didn't answer it. You know that, right? And she was babbling about, uh, it was kind of incoherent, but I caught a thing of about Ronnie and our stuff getting broken into at our shop, and I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, pray for him, and... He just looked, because she got, she went, saw him, he looked so bad, like he was on drugs, and she, I don't even know what the hell she was talking about. So I call Ronnie this, today, and I said, uh, what's going on? The truck is fixed, yay, Monday, he'll be hitting stuff hard. All of our customers in Indiana haven't been serviced in a week and a half. And he's called them all. We don't have very many in Indiana, but he called them all and explained to them what was happening, and he would be there first thing Monday morning. So everybody knows what's going on, and we've touched base. Um, but our, somebody had broke into, they didn't get into the building, but some of the vehicles, like our big truck was halfway torn apart, and they took some of the things that were there, um, we also share the building with my cousin's father-in-law, and he runs a 
lawn service. They got in one of his trucks and sold the battery. They ransacked our, uh, another one of our trucks. Um, they painted like a gang sign on the side of one of our trailers. Um, and Ronnie's like, you know, in the big truck, there was a GPS right there on the windshield. They didn't touch that. They didn't take that, which is surprising. The cops came out and they did a, you know, a report and what's all was stolen. And, um, because we, there's a gate at the end, but it was just chained off. Now they're going to get, um, like cattle gates that are like real gates so nobody can go back. The people could still walk back in, but it's way back off the road and the stuff that they stole was like heavy stuff. So you'd really need a vehicle back there if you wanted to steal stuff. So, yeah. But truck is fixed because they, they stole our, 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 our radiator, the one that we bought. Or did they take the old? I think they stole the new one. We had to buy another one. We had to buy two radiators. Let's just put it that way. Um, but anyway, it's fixed. That's all that matters. There's a police report done. People are stupid. Stupid people. So yeah. What else? I don't know why people do stuff like that. Really? Really? I mean, I can see if it... I, you know, I can't see it. I, our building is just a crappy little building back off the road with shitters and lawnmowers that are... Lawnmowers, lawn stuff's locked up inside. The only thing of ours is outside are the crappers in our trucks. If they would have broken the building on our side, all they, really all they could steal from there would be toilet paper and chemicals. Yay. Now I'm just babbling. Heidi's in there. Her daddy left her here with me. Which is always her favorite thing. She would rather go with her daddy. Apparently, <laughs> uh, Dad and Carol today went to Sam's Club and left Heidi with Cindy, her dog, at Carol's house. And um, at our kitchen door, it's a wooden door, and Heidi will scratch at it sometimes and put her nose at the very bottom and sniff. Well, at Carol's house, apparently there's like a rubber thing around the bottom of the door, and somebody ate most of that off chewed most of it off. And uh, that person's name's Heidi Ho. She wanted out. She wanted to find her daddy. She didn't want to be in the house. Yeah. So Carol's, the bottom of Carol's door has no rubber on the bottom anymore. <laughs> Poor Heidi Ho. Drinking a Coke, even though I'm not a big fan. We haven't bought soda for our house. This is what we've had at our house. But I'm eating popcorn, and they have popcorn, I have to have a soda, and I would prefer a Pepsi. I'm a Pepsi person. But, I settled for a Coke, even though every time I take a drink, I kind of will. But I've been buying Gatorade, that's been my thing lately. Gatorade and water. I got a bottle of water here, too. I don't even know why y'all are watching, because I'm boring today. Okay, popcorn. I'm gonna tie you back up. I actually ate some before I started this video, and now I've lost the mood to eat anymore. A buck. Look at this. A dollar. Okay. Can you imagine how much a bag of popcorn that big would cost in a movie theater? It's crazy. That's why I went. Well, I haven't gone to the movie theater in a long time, but when I used to, I would just buy my ticket and go in. I was not the kind of person who would buy stuff at the con concession stand, unless I had my cousins with me when they were kids, and then I had to, because 
kids are like, can we get popcorn? Can we get candy? Can I get a pretzel? You know. So I would buy stuff for them. But me, I was all about just getting in there and watching the movie. And again, I've gone on tangents just yakking. All right. I'm going to go now. I hope you're all having a pleasant Saturday. Yeah. I know. I'm thinking I'm going to go download me a game. Or, I don't know. Maybe I'll go play a Yahoo game. Maybe like Yuger or Canasta. I have options. Okay, bye.